G'day YouTube. So, for the purpose of uh, a review and a bit of an evaluation, banggood.com sent me this. It's an antimatter 30 amp or 1000 watt lipo battery charger. Synchronous battery charger, discharger. Does it all. What you get in the box. Nice instruction manual. All in English. Great. Well wrapped up. Ooh, she's hefty. I'll get to that in a sec. Get a balance board. Like so. It's got a nice little soft mat on the bottom of it so it contacts aren't uh, protruding. Uh, this unit does up to 10S. So uh, this little board's good because it gives you a single six, two fives, two fours, three threes, three twos. For the purpose of balance charging. Your temperature probe, you can slip in your battery pack and slip in the side of the machine. You get a blank pair of banana plugs. So you can uh, terminate them to a battery pack or whatnot. A pair of banana plugs with heavy duty leads. Really nice. Oh, yeah, really nice quality. Alligator clips there. They're good ones. They'll hold some current. Alright. Let's unwrap this hefty looking thing. It's got that nice medium density foam stuff. Here she is. So as you see, 30 amps or 1000 watts equivalent, up to 36 volt. There's a 10 cell charging port, 10% support, outlet port, monster. Heat sink that goes right through. Air chambers all around it, big cooling fan, USB port for firmware upgrading and playing around, and power input. Once again, really strong clamping. Alligator clamps. The cool thing about these is they're connected to banana plugs. So you can connect said charger to power supplies that have got banana plug holes. Like that or my 10 amp one that Banggood sent me previously. So that's what you get in the kit. So we'll just use this 12 volt battery here to uh, Power it up for the first time. Like I say, this is this is brand new. Okay, so we've got battery type here. Very much similar to a uh, normal LiPo. Balance speeds, battery trickle, wait time between charge and discharge. Trickle charge, NICAD and NOMAD sensitivity and delay time, temperature cutouts. Safety timer we don't need, it's not getting left alone. Capacity cutoff we definitely don't want. Gonna be charging much more than 5 amp. Input cutoffs. I can discharge up to 80 watts. That's pretty awesome. The buzzer can stay on because it gives you a warning if something goes wrong. Just a beep when it's finished. Automatic fan cooling. Backlight's adjustable. Regenerative discharge. We need to read the book on that one. So as you can see, it has got a ton of awesome options, special modes. Motor drive, so you can actually run in electric motors with it. And it's got a foam cut drive, you can use it to cut foam. Internal resistance measurements, 
So it has got heaps. Lithium battery. So uh, we'll just find a uh, LiPo to connect it to and we'll see what happens. Okay, we've gone to the uh, PowerTech 40 amp switch mode power supply. We're going to go lead acid this time. Um, mainly because there's no point in discharging that to charge that. And I want to do some load tests for the next video. So I might as well set it up now. So, battery type. PB, which is lead acid. Just wind the current up. So you can see. Look at it go. Oh, it goes right away. What? Right the way around. It's not going to charge for long, but we will run it. Okay, so we're going to turn that beep off because it's annoying as shit. Settings. Good thing if you weren't um, going to be watching it. Compression beep. Beep off. We'll leave a warning beep there because sometimes it's handy. That voltage, how quick that measures the voltage of that is just remarkable. Let's see if this battery wants to actually take some voltage. I think they're all charged. No, this one's only showing 12.7. The amps come up. Look at that. Little cooling fan fired up all by itself. The cooling fan in this is really quiet, but uh, that one there is the noisy one. It's like a little hurricane. Look at that, pushing 10.7 in. What an awesome thing. So the beauty of these things is, even though we're only inputting 13.8, I believe this is rigged at, this can push that up to 36 volts and still get decent amperage. Now that's a 40 amp, 13.8 power supply, 14, 40 amp max. So this little thing's an awesome solution for uh, giving a boost charge. Now I can charge four of those at once off this little beast. Uh, giving it lots of reasons why it's a good machine. Really, really sturdy built, all aluminium. Most likely for heat conductivity. But yeah, the resolution on the way the voltage is and how much current it's pushing in. Like your uh, IMAX B6s, for instance, I know they're cheap. I think this is about 150. Uh, Australian dolls. Like I said, I got sent it from uh, Banggood for review purposes. I'm probably not actually meant to charge these at 10 amps. Doesn't say. They're a 5 amp hour battery, it's probably, probably pushing it actually. As you can see, the milliamp hour is tearing up there. It's, a, it's quite a powerful machine. So uh, I'll do some more tests on it, 
in the coming days with um, different chemistries and different batteries and things like that and we'll see what kind of juice we can really get the thing to push out uh, thanks for watching thank you for, for uh, sending me this for review and uh, yeah I'll leave links in the video description for uh, anyone that wants to have a look at one and uh, you can also uh, if you find something you like on Banggood and you want to support the channel you can buy through my affiliate link thanks heaps for watching guys um, and catch us on the next video.